Hi everyone, it's Cars Guy Do It Yourself. Today we're going to show you how to rebuild rear brake caliper with electronic parking brake. This particular caliper was used in cars like Audi A6 or VW Passat. Interested how to turn this into that? Stay with us. The reason why we are doing it is broken EPB housing, someone tried to repair it with the glue, but it failed. Also we want to make this brake caliper looks fresh, so you will see complete rebuild with replacement of the necessary parts. If you have problems with EPB mechanism or your caliper seems stuck and you are wondering if you can do it yourself, with thanks to this video you can, right away I will show you how to do it. So here we have parts that we will use. For inner part of brake caliper we have complete set and it contain new brake piston, outer dust cover, piston inner seal, electronic parking brake body o-ring that protects against any debris to fall in into EPB mechanism, shaft seal and new bleeder valve with cap. In second box we have new EPB mechanism, important thing is this spline shaft which is coming out of this body. Before you order a new one make sure you have same shape. Assembly paste, save for rubber parts, we can use to loop inner and outer rubber parts. Also we will sand it in our sandblasting box using this small sandblasting gun. And to make this filthy brake caliper to look nice again we will paint it with this brake caliper paint. In the event that the EPB mechanism is blocked or for some reason handbrake switch does not want to release it, we have three ways to unlock the handbrake. In this type of caliper, the first is diagnostic equipment, second manually connecting the power to the servo motor and retract it, third unscrew servo motor and manually turning the shaft retracted using the spanner. Here we will present last two. Here we have an OEM socket from the car installation. It is not required but it's more comfortable. You can use single wires but be careful not to short the pins and not to make a short circuit. Depending on the connected polarity we will either push the mechanism backwards or forwards. See how it works. Connect it to the battery and the mechanism works for sure because we can hear it but the piston doesn't move. Probably it's because the housing is cracked and the EPB spline is too far from the brake caliper shaft, it doesn't mesh. In this case, this method failed. Now we are about to show you third way how to do it. Unscrew two screws holding the housing of the EPB mechanism. Here we have spline hole, match the correct torques and turn the handbrake mechanism shaft. It should retract or goes further. Do you see this o-ring? Due to the oxidation of aluminum, the o-ring increased its outer diameter, pushing the EPB housing apart and causing it to crack. It will need to be cleaned very thoroughly. Ok, now turn the shaft. As we can see, piston is coming out. Now take out piston from that dust cover. The handbrake mechanism is not permanently connected to the piston, as we can see it only touch on it. Take out that dust cover. Many of you in previous videos ask why you didn't send it first and then take it apart. Because we have to inspect everything to make sure that it's worth it to send it. Secondly, when it's stripped we have better access to glues like this one. Oxidized aluminum in here can cause a diameter shrinkage, which will tighten the cover to the piston and it will seize up the brake caliper. Simple. Now take out that piston seal. Remove shaft retainer clip. So we remove the shaft. Here at the end we have shaft seal. Next we have the washer. Then bearing. 
And another washer. So far, so good. Let's remove that brake supply hose. Remove that metal bracket. We have a bleeder valve and as you can see the thread was probably broken before and someone replaced it with a sleeve with a larger thread diameter. It is a working solution and we will not change it, we will just unscrew the bleeder valve. Perfect, take a look on complete disassembly view. Caliper is in good condition and we are ready to secure all holes before we will sandblast it. And we will do it in our homemade sandblasting box. If you want to know how to make such a sandblasting box, check it right there. Bleeder valve hole we can cover using old bleeder valve. Supply hole I will cover with the same diameter plug, but it can be also covered with the tape. Cover shaft hole with small piece of cardboard and duct tape. Like that. To cover piston hole, we will use cardboard again. We will cut same diameter as all piston seal have and suggest you to do two layers, then put it into the second glue. Let's sandblast it! Perfect! Take a look at that! We can remove all covers and wash it rest of the sand particulate. Inspect both grooves, are they fine, are they free from oxidation? If so, then we can go to the next step. If not, we can clean it using rotary tool with soft metal wire brush. But this one is fine. The brake caliper is clean enough, we can start covering the holes before painting. For this we can use masking tape and cardboard, same as we did it before. Cover piston hole, tape, shaft hole, breather valve and cover rest of the threaded holes, like this. Great, now the grease brake caliper surface. Good, ready to paint it. But before you do it, read carefully paint instruction. Let's paint it. Short and confident moves, make sure you keep same distance from the painting part. After first layer gets dry, we can cover it with second coat. And here it is. Nice. We can remove all masking tapes and prepare to assemble. First, we will start with that shaft. Lubricate all parts with brake fluid, like that.
inner seal lubricate with that brakes inner parts assemble paste. Now install it in brake caliper. Install retaining clip. Next will be piston seal. First lubricate it with assembly paste, then set it on place. We can screw in the inner handbrake mechanism, but before that, lubricate the thread with the brake fluid and screw it all the way to the end of the thread. One of the most important jobs, preparation and tight assembly of the dust cover on the piston and inside the caliper body. Lubricate the dust cover in the point where it adheres to the brake caliper groove with assembly paste. Then slide the dust cover over the piston and make sure that the end of the cover will be moved away from the piston edge. Like that. Hold the piston and gently place the dust cover end in the groove in the brake caliper. Now we should be able to slide the piston all the way with our hands. If we run into a problems at the beginning, you need to turn the piston to match its inner shape with the internal handbrake mechanism shape. Install brake hose bracket, it's been painted in black already, add medium strength thread locker to that bolt and tighten it. Here we have EPB housing o-ring which fits over here, use assemble paste to lubricate it and fit it on place. Good, install EPB mechanism on brake caliper. Add thread locker to the add bolts and tighten it. Add small amount of assembly paste on thread of the brittle valve and snug it. 
the same thing with brake hose, lubricate thread attend and snug it. Alright, and here it is! Looks brilliant! I think it's even better than new one. If you like it, thumbs up and subscribe. Job done! Thanks for watching!